Hey everybody, Phil Crew, Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the Castagli Cigars Gran Mareva. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting barnyard, hay, and a very nice sweet vanilla. And I am also getting a very nice, freshly cut grassy note, which would make sense because my neighbors just mowed their lawn. Okay, so right off the bat here, right on the beginning of that pool, a nice subtle vanilla in there. <clears throat> and I'm just going to tell you this because it's right there. On the finish, there's a, a very, very subtle white pepper spice on my tongue, back of my throat. I'm also getting a little bit of that vanilla on the finish. Also flavors a little bit of oakiness in that draw, some nice earth. Retrohale, some of that earth and a little bit of the spice there. That drill right there almost had like a um, a very subtle grapefruit type of that like type of grapefruit bitterness in there, and the smoke is already getting a little creamy here. Okay, so right on the pool, I'm getting this nice kind of sugary sweet vanilla right when I start pulling it in. That flavor kind of goes under my tongue and just really fills up all that space underneath my tongue. That's really good. This bready note has come in and then literally right on that pool there, there is this kind of rich tobacco flavor that came in. On the finish, that sweetness, that vanilla sweetness is still there. And then it's been having this type of leather slash roasted coffee. So what happens is it kind of starts off with this leather on the finish and as that starts fading off it just kind of finishes out with this nice roasted coffee it actually my mom used to have this uh, coffee she made every morning was just Folgers coffee and as soon as that kind of set in the first time that's what it reminded me of just that the aroma of that coffee how it you know almost tastes when you smell it that's really what it reminded me of retro hail is just a nice earthy sweetness in the retro hail with a little bit of that tobacco the aroma off this cigar has kind of went from a nice sweet cedar to this nice sweet vanilla now. So that's that's cool. The burn on this cigar has been good, no touch-ups. Speaking of my mom making coffee, my mom used to get up super early in the morning. I don't know if you guys have moms like that that get up like way earlier than is necessary for everything. And I remember me and my wife, she was my girlfriend at the time, we went to visit them and we, we stayed up till like 11.30 midnight talking to them. I kid you not, four o'clock rolls around. They are out in the living room talking like everybody in the house should be up. I can smell the coffee, I can hear my mom talking, her boyfriend talking, and I just look over at my girlfriend, who's now my wife, and <laughs> I just remember her looking at me and saying, this is crazy. And she's right. It was crazy. But I think we all know that moms are a little crazy. Now, I'm not going to say the word because I try to keep this, you know, clean. Whenever my mom would get really mad at somebody, like if somebody would cut her off in traffic or something like that. My mom didn't have anger issues, so it was always funny when my mom did this. There's a lot of toastiness right there too, by the way. Um, she would call people the F word, which if you think of the F word, it's like, well, that's not really a name, but my mom would add an O to the end of it. Oh, <laughs> and not only would she say F word O, she would put U at the beginning of it. So if somebody cuts off in traffic, you F O, that's what she would say. There wasn't one time I heard my mom say that that I didn't laugh. Alrighty, cool. So the burn has been awesome the whole time. No burn touch-ups. This cigar is moving right along, by the way. Um, flavors off the uh, pool there. 
a nice vanilla. A little bit of orange is coming. It kind of started as an orange zest, and now it's kind of just moving into a nice orange, if that makes any sense. So that's been good. And that vanilla has been a nice, smooth, sweet vanilla, or sometimes it will have this toasty component to it. And that's been really good. And I'm telling you, what I was saying about it being right underneath my tongue, that is just sitting there. So it is honestly like I took some sugar and a little bit of vanilla and just rubbed it on the back of my teeth through the whole thing. I mean, from the time I take the draw as I'm just sitting here, that sugary vanilla sweetness is at the back of my teeth the whole time, the whole time. It's just staying there. That's not a bad flavor to be just kind of stuck hanging out. That's good. The uh, finish, that leather has kind of completely died off, and now it's just this nice, smooth, roasted coffee with some dark chocolate in there every so often as well. So a little bit about this cigar. Brazilian wrapper. The binder is from the Dominican Republic, and the fillers are from the Dominican Republic, the USA, and Nicaragua. And I encourage you to take some time and just go to the Castagli Cigars website. I'll put that right here. Um, and I'll put it in the description box below as well. It's really worth your time to go there. Um, they have a lot of information there. It's interesting to go on those sites and just read up on what they're doing, their process, um, and all that. So I would encourage you to go there and check it out. So speaking about my mom, which to be quite honest, I wasn't even planning on talking about my mom um, during this review, but that roasted coffee taste I got at the beginning just kind of gave me that memory which you know what a good cigar will do that not only do they make good memories but they sometimes can bring up good memories just little flavors here um, I think I referred to like a blackjack gum in another review I did um, on some cigar and that just immediately took me back to to that time anyway my mom was one of those old-school moms and she kind of let us watch stuff that we probably shouldn't have been watching but I remember one of the things I got to watch when I was real little was um, Eddie Murphy's stand-up. I think it was uh, Delirious, is that right? Um, the one where he does the ice cream scene, and if you've seen that, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you haven't seen the Eddie Murphy stand-up ice cream scene, you have to go watch it. As soon as you're done with this video, go watch it. Really good. Anyway, I, uh, I used to act out that scene all the time. I love that scene. Speaking about acting stuff out, I also used to act out a lot of Jean-Claude Van Damme. And if you've seen Jean-Claude Van Damme movies, you probably know why. But there was one scene I acted out specifically a lot, and it was a scene from Bloodsport. He gets something thrown in his eyes from uh, Bolo Young's character. Just how he throws a fit on the ground. <laughs> the weirdest place I reenacted that scene, and we were in the McDonald's parking lot. And uh, one of my other friends that I had acted it out with a couple times, Ask me about it. My friends are like, what? I was like, they're like, oh, show us, show us. We did everything in slow motion just like it is in the movie. <sighs> Jean-Claude Van Damme, I always loved watching the movies, especially after he punched somebody. Because he would punch somebody, and then the aftermath of that punch just on him was like, seemed like five minutes. I'm almost convinced those scenes weren't even slow motion. I think that's just how he did them. Good Lord, you can see that smoke output. We are finishing up here <clears throat> and flavor wise, vanilla. Oh my gosh, this vanilla is so good. That vanilla sweetness, Whew. a little bit of orange in there some nice toasty oakiness and then there's also been the cinnamon that comes up every so often and when all that combines whew, holy smokes retro hail has been a nice subtle smooth black pepper spice and earth and on the finish just that nice vanilla sweetness a very smooth coffee and even some of that orange some of that orange is in there this is good no burn touch-ups. The construction on the cigar has been awesome. You guys can see the smoke output, the draw. <clears throat> the draw is perfect. Spot on draw. Man, really good. If you are thinking about trying out a more expensive cigar, 
and you haven't yet, I would give Gastagli Cigars a shot. <sighs> and this Gastagli Cigars made me all sentimental about my mom. If I wouldn't have got that coffee at the beginning that I described, I wouldn't even probably thought about it. I think about my mom every day, but I probably wouldn't have thought about her necessarily in that context with this cigar. I could pretty much make her laugh about anything and even times where maybe you shouldn't be laughing, but that's just how I am. I try to laugh about stuff. And my mom was one of my favorite people to make laugh. Man, I loved hearing her laugh. Her laugh was so awesome. And I still like making people laugh. I've always loved making people laugh. Sometimes I'm successful, sometimes I'm not, but it's the effort that counts, right? Castaglia Cigars, thanks for the sentimental memories of my mom. Would I recommend this cigar? This cigar would get a heck yeah rating from me. Maybe that's how I'll start rating cigars. Whether I'd recommend them or not, and I'll just say like heck yeah, or I don't know, something else that I think of at the time, but rating on this cigar, heck yeah. Smoke time for this delicious cigar came out to 49 minutes. As always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this review, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. My subscribership is going up little by little. Really dig it, it's awesome. I love to see people joining the community. Hey, and if you're just watching and not subscribing, cool man, I dig that too, all right? Make sure to leave all your questions and comments below. I will get to them as they come along. Until next time, guys, practice your Van Dam. Don't be a dillweed or an FO, and I'll see you soon. You'll never hear about to say my soul. You'll never hear about to say my soul.